I'm joined by Yuichiro Ishibashi from Toshiba. Toshiba is well known in, as a technology provider, sorting equipment and the like. But tell us a little bit about how you've interacted with not just the postal world, but the UPU in past projects. Yes, yeah, so actually the, back to the 1960, uh, we started uh, this uh, business. At that time, we just only focused to the, the domestic mail processing. At that time, uh, we are not uh, familiar with the UPU itself, but uh, uh, we need to say, uh, keep the, some such uh, certain regulation. Uh, uh, based on that regulation, we can uh, make uh, our product or system. Uh, in, uh, in the beginning of our business, uh, that's it. But uh, uh, probably the, uh, in these days or in the future, we need more uh, deeper communicate with communities uh, because uh, uh, world is more internationally, so that means that uh, many items uh, go back and forth to the, uh, between the each country. So that time, that time we need more. Uh, we need to know more uh, international uh, circumstances or regulation or. Uh, let's see. By international standards, especially when it's talking about cross-border parcels and even even cross-border letters. So when you're talking about these international standards, was it just for letters or just for parcels or for both? What 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 sort of okay. items were you were you talking Sometimes about? Sometimes it's at both. Yeah. So especially for the recently, the, uh, as you everybody knows, uh, the letters or flats uh, are uh, declining and but and it's, uh, simultaneously, the parcel of packet volume is dramatically uh, increasing. So, uh, of course, letter or flat will not be zero, but uh, uh, maybe the constantly continue. So, the, uh, we don't forget about uh, letter, letter and flats, but uh, uh, more need to more concent uh, concentrate to the parcel of packet uh, area. I think this is interesting because it underlines the importance of a private sector player mm -hmm. like Toshiba, especially in a technology provider, having an understanding of the, the, the structures and the agreements that are in place to facilitate mail pieces, whether it's, you know, the, as you just said, the, the letter mail or the parcel mail. So it's a really interesting discussion then about the importance of technology and the standards that go along with those cross-border mail items um, and again the importance of those partnerships between technology players and the bodies such as the UPU. Yeah, so uh, uh, probably uh, uh, to, uh, to open discussion or uh, to exchange the information uh, from uh, UPU side and uh, uh, private side is very important. Probably uh, uh, from UPU side to provide us some uh, idea or plan for some regulation or some other uh, standard, uh, standardization. But uh, uh, simultaneously, our private sector can provide some. Uh, new technology or future technology. So uh, such mixture uh, we can consider about the more efficient or more good solution or uh, more good operation for everyone. For everyone. So that not only for the postal operator but also some consumers or uh, some social. Yuichiro Ishibashi, thank you very much for joining us on the UPU Voicemail podcast. Thank you very much.